Hello, this is Physics with Harrison, and today I'll be doing problem 7-5 from our blue packet. So 7-5 begins telling us that there is a thin conducting rod that carries a uniform charge per unit length theta, um, lambda, is bent into a circle of radius r as shown above, and they give us a picture that looks kind of like this. Uh, into a circle of radius r and as express your answers in terms of lambda r and fundamental constants so to determine they ask us to determine the electric potential v at center c of the circle well we know that for, so we'll say part a so we know that v equals 1 over k, or whoops, sorry, it's 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q over r. And we know that q equals theta l. So all we have to do is just find out, figure out what l is, because they give us what lambda is. So l is just the circumference of the circle. So L equals 2 pi R. And we plug that in. So V equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times lambda 2 pi R all over R. So we learned about canceling, so we could cancel all these out. So in the end, we're left with the V equals the lambda over 2 epsilon naught. That is your answer. So for part B, they ask us what's the electric potential, um, what's the magnitude of E of the electric fields in center C? Because all the charges are all canceling each other out from opposite sides, E is simply zero. Okay, now moving on. So for part C, they, they give us a different thing. They give us this arc, this rod that is now bent into an arc. Radius R, theta, theta. Here's your C. So now for part C, they're asking us determine the total charge of the rod. So here's your charge. So our previous part equals lambda L. So we still know what, lam what lambda is cause, because they give it to us. But L is a little bit harder to figure out. So L is just basically the circumference but at a certain angle. So, no, sorry, not a circumference at a certain angle. The length of the rod would be equals to 2 r theta. So, you plug it in. Q equals lambda 2 theta r. Yay! So part D. This time they're asking us for the electric potential. 
at the on at the center of curvature of the arc, which is at point C. So all the charge, same distance away from the center. Just substitute all your stuff in again. So V equals K Q over R. R. So then we just plug that in. So then equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught um, Q, which is 2 theta lambda R all over R. Cancel. Cancel. So all we're left it with is just B equals theta lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught. And that's your answer. Um, so yeah. Now for part E. Now ask us for the direction. We have to draw it this time. So let's move this over maybe and draw it on this side. So part E. Actually, let's just draw over here. So for part E, we have to determine the direction. So we need to correctly express the electric field again. So we know that E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R squared. Because the charge is all at the same distance, calculating the electric field just requires the integration over the angle. So the vertical component of the fields cancel, but so the integration is limited only to the horizontal part. So d q equals lambda r d theta, which is for the integration. Oh, not d theta, d whatever that is. I forgot that thingy for EMF. <coughs> so E equals K, which is this thing, as we all know, from one angle to the other of theta R. Whoops, sorry. Theta R over R. Squared. Cosine D. Whoops. We include this cosine because it's the horizontal component. So now that we calculate it into our calculator, hold on. find out that it equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught theta over r sine theta. This paper keeps moving. Sine theta or So then, oh, and it's evaluated at angle and negative. So that equals one over four pi epsilon naught theta over r times sine theta minus sine of negative theta. So it equals
Okay. Now that we have this equation, how can we apply it? Well, because it's a positive direction, we can tell that goes in the positive direction. And there's your direction. Alright. And that is it for 7-5. Thank you for paying attention.